Welcome back to the Be Chic Studio. Oh my gosh, we have such a fun one tonight. We are going to be using Country Chic Paint, the Painterly Rose IOD stamps. Oh my gosh, so cute. We will be stamping on a tea towel tonight, so let's get started. So with the Country Chic, I'm going to be using Pebble Beach and I'm also going to be using Licorice. These colors should look so cool together. I picked up these uh, tea towels or better probably known as flower sack towels. I got them at Walmart. I think I paid seven something for it, but I will put the link below. Also, I'll link my website, www.bechictreasures.com. All these items can be purchased on our website, so we're gonna get started. Okay, so I'm gonna get these open. Once I get them open, the one thing that you'll wanna do is run a warm iron over these before you get started. However, I am way too impatient for that, so I went ahead and got it started. I opened it up and placed it around this piece of wood that I found. I definitely want to make sure I have a flat surface and also wanted something underneath it so that the paint didn't seep underneath or get on any other part of the towel. That's a super important step. one of the stamps. I did use this before so I went ahead and got started. I used my brayer and my paint to go over it. Started laying it down. I decided I kind of wanted a random theme. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do but I just kind of started going for it. Moved them around and um, next thing you know I had a pretty cool pattern going on. I did mention they're new, so pulling on them, you kinda kinda have to tug, but don't be afraid, they won't break, they're silicone. But what I did start on is, of course, use my brayer again and my paint, but I wanted different sizes, so I got some of the bigger roses out to use. And I just, this time you can see that I used the plastic mount that it comes with. Just wanted to demonstrate there are different ways to do it. Also, don't worry that the paint all didn't come off. That's just like the beauty of this is the differences and that it is not a perfect uh, imprint. The stamps do come pre-distressed, so you don't have to worry about that if you're doing this on wood, but it also automatically does it on fabric, so it just really works for you and not against you. So I'm finishing this off with the smaller print as well. And after I get this done, what I will do is go back and put the outlines on it with a darker color. I kind of wanted a monochromatic, more of a modern kind of look to this shabby chic look. I absolutely love this. Check this out guys, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, I accidentally dropped it. Don't worry guys, once you do that, don't pick it up and move it because you have to commit to where it's at or you'll leave the ink behind wherever it touched. So sometimes it has to be imperfect, but not too bad. I think it came out okay, so I'm gonna keep going. up with the smaller pieces and then I'm going to grab the rest of the roses and see which ones fit. I'm not 100% sure which way I'm going to go but I'm going to finish up with these small ones and then move on to the bigger roses. I personally feel if you use your hands instead of the mount with the smaller ones it's just easier. The other really nice thing about the clear mounts is you can see through them. So if you've started a project like what I'm doing, you can kind of eyeball it and see what's gonna work before you commit to it. So it is all easy and I have never worked with stamps so easy. You guys are going to love it. Also, make sure that if you do get ink or paint on your mount before you apply it, make sure it comes off if you're using them. 
because that will go on to your project. You don't want that. When I put this rose on, you can see that I lifted up the edge of it and didn't lay it all down because I didn't want it to overlap with the roses that were already there. That is a good way to stack your roses without them touching. I wanted it to have a consistent look and I thought maybe the leaves would work for that. On this next step you'll see I used the mount to cover up some part of the, the flowers that were there because I saw a small space I wanted to cover up but I didn't want it to overlap. It just kind of blocks it out so that you can stack them and they look together but not on top of each other. It's a great look. patience I don't like um, ironing these for myself only because where it overlaps or doesn't lay flat it kind of gives it an extra distressed look and I love that look just a quick reminder our website is www.beshiktreasures.com please hit that thumbs up subscribe and head over to our website the newsletter will get you 20% off if you've subscribed to it, so we will respond with a discount code. Thank you. Just really wanted to say thank you so much for being here. I uh, hope you subscribe so I can continue to make more videos to show you how essential stencils, iron orchid, and country chic paint work. Remember, there is a discount right now before it's gone. Please subscribe and you can receive a code for 20% off of our website. Again, uh, www.beshiktreasures.com. Please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you guys and we love you.